So patient advocates play a crucial role in the pharmaceutical industry, especially in clinical research. They serve as the voice of patients, ensuring that their needs and concerns are heard and addressed throughout the drug development process. Here's a simple breakdown of what they do and when their involvement might not actually be the best choice. So why are patient advocates important? They improve clinical trial design. Patient advocates provide valuable insights into patient experiences and needs. This feedback can help researchers design better clinical trials that are more patient-friendly, which can lead to higher participation rates and more reliable results. Number two, they can actually help bridge the gap between pharmaceutical companies and patients by ensuring that communication is clear and understandable. This can help with better recruitment and retention of patients in clinical trials. Number three, ensuring transparency. Advocates promote transparency and trust by ensuring that patients are fully informed about the trials they participate in. This includes the risks and the benefits. This can build trust and encourage more patients to participate. So, when is using patient advocates actually a bad move? So it might actually overcomplicate simple studies. In some straightforward clinical trials, involving patient advocates can add an unnecessary layer of complexity. For example, if there's a very clear and straightforward protocol, the additional layer of advocacy might slow down the process and may not add significant value. Number two, there may be a misalignment of goals. Sometimes, the goals of patient advocates and pharmaceutical companies may not align perfectly. If advocates push for certain changes that do not align with the scientific goals or regulatory requirements of the study, it can create conflicts and slow down the research process. Number three, limited expertise in specialized areas. In highly technical or specialized areas, patient advocates may not have the necessary expertise to contribute meaningfully. For example, in certain rare disease states or, or cutting edge technologies, the insights needed may be highly technical and specific, but it may not be within the scope of patient advocate knowledge. In conclusion, while patient advocates are invaluable in many aspects of clinical research, their involvement should be carefully considered based on the complexity and specific needs of the study. Proper alignment and clear communication between all parties can help maximize the benefits of involving patient advocates. This is the Darshan Talks podcast.